One day, 40 writers, one city, burning bridges. Presented by Sack One, Strict and Burst. At its core essence, graffiti writing is about letters and the exploration of typography. Much of what is created is tailored for the graffiti community and its participants. Many consider it as a lifestyle, a form of self-expression, creation of alter egos, notoriety and vandalism. In recent times, graffiti writing has been associated with street art, but street art is much more image based and the context of its intentions are much different. Burning Bridges united writers from across New Zealand with the aim of creating and growing a stronger and evolving graffiti community. 40 graffiti writers painted walls around Tauranga and brought along an opportunity for them to showcase their work, share their creative process and enable the younger generation to network with the more established writers. Basically in 2011, there was the Rugby World Cup and pretty much in Auckland, after that event happened, pretty much every bit of graffiti got wiped out. And so to me, really what Burning Bridges means, I think, to the graffiti scene is that, you know, we're trying to bring together all these different writers from across New Zealand to paint at this uh, big jam, you know, and I think that I'm actually obliged to do something about it because if I don't, it pretty much means that my 15 years of graph, that's pretty much a write-off. And, um, you know, all I know is that we're all part of the same movement and we've got to do something to keep the scene alive, you know, and, you know, maybe the, the, what we're doing now isn't the best, you know, but if we can kind of actually work together and have more jams, have more battles and things like that, we can, we can keep it alive and keep it moving. With the support of Ironlack sponsorship, all 40 writers had the opportunity to produce their best work. Each writer created a large scale graffiti piece with no limitations. The sponsorship allowed some of the younger writers to push their own stylistic boundaries and learn techniques and approaches using high quality aerosol. The event and support from Ilac produced a highly positive response and writers from across New Zealand have already signaled that they are ready for the next event, so stay tuned.